Wealth and asset management institutions are at the forefront of adopting innovative technologies like Gen AI tools. Nine out of 10 managers are currently using or planning to use AI in their investment processes, according to consulting firm Mercer. So the question no longer remains if, but how are managers implementing AI capabilities into their everyday investment strategies? And at least that's what our next guest says. Here to weigh in, we've got Raylan Lambert, who is the Mercer Global Alternatives Leader. Great to have you here in studio with Pleasure us. Pleasure to be here, Brad. Thank Absolutely. you. Let's talk about this. I mean, how much of a role can AI really play in some of those investment decisions and, and the broader world of finance, if you will? Well, it really depends on where managers are incorporating them into their process. You know, five, 10 years ago, the focus was on data science and how how can we mine the information we have to provide better maybe intelligence and reporting? But today, AI has taken everything to a whole new level. So you're seeing managers deploying it um, with respect to sourcing and screening new investment opportunities. You know, they might have specific criteria that they're looking for, say, in the middle market, certain segments of the economy. Um, where they're using it in that regard. But compellingly, they're also use, using it as they look across their portfolio and understanding the data that they collectively have and ownership. How can they then connect the dots of that data and maybe even bring to market new products and solutions on behalf of clients? I mean, is this something that the, client, the, the client would engage directly with or something that managers would use and leverage as a tool to say, okay, this is the investment decisions that we've made in the past. This is the mix of your portfolio or the risk propensity can, that you can add on or where you should perhaps mitigate some of the risk that you currently have in your portfolio right now? Like, where is this, this touch point happening? The touch point is happening on two places, at least in the most simplest form, right? One is how the manager is integrating AI into their own investment decision making, into uh, the data, as I mentioned, that they're sitting on, how they're utilizing that to um, bring forth maybe new ideas across the portfolio. The second big place so that managers are using it is as limited partners, you know, as investors in those managers' funds, we like a lot of data and yeah. we like it, you know, immediately. So managers too are finding ways to integrate that technology into uh, their data rooms, into how they're reporting information to their investors. Um, and that's cutting down on the amount of time so they can provide more value add analytics on other you know, aspects of portfolio consideration. So it's both within their own portfolios, but also in their reporting and monitoring and updates to investors. Okay, so what are the early returns that we've seen that are that are showing a difference between, okay, this is your portfolio without this layer of artificial intelligence, and here's your portfolio performance with this layer added in? I would say that we haven't seen it broken out that way yet. Um, I think, you know, when you, you, you briefed, uh, you mentioned at the outset, you know, the 90% stat that yeah. we found with our AI study. And, you know, while that it's 90% overall, roughly 40% of managers are still contemplating incorporating it into their processes. So I think the real, you know, where we'll probably start seeing it show up is as companies, you know, we know distributions have been down. And so the big focus really now is on EBITDA enhancement. We have, how can these managers add value to the EBITDA of the companies? Because the longer, if you were to sell that company at the same valuation one year later, your return, your rate of return is already down by 300 basis points. So the focus is on EBITDA. So that's where I think as we look at, you know, what value creation levers the managers have to add value to their portfolios, we might see at one point AI as one of those levers. Mm -hmm. How are they utilizing it to enhance productivity, to enhance um, you know, streamline processes, to cut down on other costs of the business? And so in that regard, you know, we'll see, but we haven't seen that show up yet in terms of actual measurability. I think it's still, still early days. Just as long as AI does not shame me about my trades that I'm making, <laughs> I uh, that, that would just hurt. Add insult to injury on the portfolio performance basis. Thanks so much for taking the yeah, time. Yeah, I appreciate it, Brad. Thank you. Raylan Lambert, who is the Mercer Global Alternatives Leader.